Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. This is such a fun concept we're going to build today. This is a Lego Disney set, uh, Encanto set, obviously. This is Isabella's flower pot and it combines my favorite things, Lego, mini dolls and plants. It's like a, it's a, like a, the love child of the botanicals theme and the Disney theme. There's something for adults in here. There's something for kids in here. There's something for adults who never properly grew up like me. So it's absolutely perfect. So let's have a look. Well, I haven't built it yet, but the concept of it is exactly what I want to see. It's so great. So 641 pieces. It's $70 in Australia, uh, $40 in the US. It looks like we've got the Disney tax on top of a botanicals idea. Oh, well, you can't have everything, but you can kind of, <laughs> but it costs you. All right. So this is actually the Isabella mini doll that I painted last year, the year before, I can't remember. How long ago was it that Encanto came out? Because I desperately wanted an Isabella, an Isabella mini doll. She didn't exist before. I'm very proud of my efforts. However, we now have a real legitimate Lego version. Let's take a look. She has got the flowers all up her skirt with the nice layers. Oh, it's so pretty. The, oh my gosh, the, the actual printing detail is gorgeous. I love how the neck frill goes all the way around the back. Oh, it's just so lovely. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Now, her face print is a brand new face print for the Isabella character. It's in the new Disney mini doll style. It doesn't look, uh, it, it's nice. It doesn't look as strange as the ones on the Caucasian princesses. I don't know why the dark skinned princesses or the Disney characters seem to get a better go of it with this new face print. She's also got Pocahontas's hair, which works really, really nicely because her hair is dead straight. I can't get this on dead straight and thick, but it's always in motion. So I just, I love the fact that you can see it swinging. Absolutely love that. And she's holding a flower and there is also another little light pink flower to put in her hair. She's gorgeous. She really is the most lovely, lovely incarnation in Lego form. As a mini doll, look at that. We finally get Isabella. I mean, I really like mine. I, obviously her face is the wrong cultural style from the one that I made. The skin tone's better here. Yeah, nice. This is really nice. Right, let's build. I'm just so excited to have Isabella as a mini doll. <laughs> what is my life? Right, so we are building the flower pot part of the flower. So this has actually got like a little dollhouse furniture kind of hideaway for Isabella in here. I think it's supposed to depict her room. So it's a tiny version of her room surrounded with all of the flowers. So that's, we've got the pink and we've got the vibrant coral as the flowery colors going around. Oh, I just, I love the fact that we are getting a meld of Disney princess stuff into something that appeals to adults as well, because I know there are adults out here who love mini dolls. I mean, I'm one. I'm not alone. I know that there's a whole heap of us out there. Uh, you guys keep telling me in the comments. So just the fact that we're getting something that just kind of crosses over. Oh, so good. So we've got two of these little panel-y kind of things with the flower the flower sticker on them to just create that the very quick way to create the uh, the flowers on the wall or the flowers going all the way around. But we're having to create angles and this was just something that it's, this, it's not a terribly sophisticated build, but it's a little bit harder than than a normal Disney princess one in the mini doll range. This is her bed. We've got the little bit on the end so that she's not going to fall out when we pick this flower pot up. Nice. And it's sitting up. So that we've got the mat underneath. I feel like it's like a double decker bed, but it's not because her bed floats down. So I assume that's what where that's what the idea of this is. It's kind of convincing. It's in a very small scale. So that you got to do what you can work with the space that you have. I think it's very pretty. OK, this bit goes along the top and then we just need to put the yeah the dirt in on the top for the top of the flower pot and these. <gasps> These are the actual surrounds of the flower pots. So I'm gonna make a couple of these on camera, but then they replicate themselves. So I'll make the rest off camera and then we'll just put them on. So we've got this one, which goes on the back and it just plugs into our exposed studs there. This one here is the same kind of idea. It's like a woven, I, I love this. I love this concept. It's like a woven basket style or woven flower pot, which is so appropriate culturally. It's so nice. Don't know about the colors culturally because they generally tend to be much brighter colors than this but I don't care I think it all works in really nicely obviously these are supposed to be Isabella's 
Yeah, Isabella's colours. Uh, and this bit here, once again, we're doing that interspersing, woven-y kind of thing. This skin is on over here. And there we go. We've got one side. We just need a little token, little bit of flower up here on our pokey outy bit. And we're up to bag number two. So we've got one half of the flower pot done. This is going to be the other side. So what's going to be inside the flower pot on the other side? Well, I don't know. Let's build it and find out. We've got a purple mat with a little bit of a green bit with a jumper stud on it. We've got a table at the back and the rest of it so far is going together the same as the other side obviously because it's supposed to be the other half of the same room oh of course it's the other half of the same room <laughs> it's still a bedroom but just with we're, we're gonna see what other furniture goes in here because it is such a teeny tiny space <laughs> i don't know why i thought it was going to be a completely separate room logic says it's all part of the same enclosed flower pot so uh, yeah anyway <laughs> i get so off track so this sticker gives a beautiful portrait of isabella and mirabelle getting along so at the end of the movie it's lovely though it's really nice I'm glad she's got this up in her room now got the candle or a depiction of the candle the important candle and these panels here are the the yeah the color splashes for when Isabella lets loose so on one side we've got all the flowers on the other side we've got color splashes I kind of feel like I should mix and match those tiles up just swap the colors around so they're not <laughs> it feels a little bit too symmetrical at the moment. I can do that. Easy enough to do later on. Uh, but at the moment, I'm going to just build it as per the instructions. Then I mess with it later. Okay, so we've got our inside, which is just kind of a little standing area. She can attach here onto this jumper stud. Oh, she can't though, because that jumper stud's actually for a cactus, which is a recolor of the pumpkin now in green. So that's why the, that's why the mat is green now too. Because it's just, yeah, it's leaching the color into the mat. It's going through all of her pink. I love that color concept so much it's just a beautiful little detail all right getting the woveny bits all the way around the side these just the same as the other side except for uh, not even a mirror image I think so this is our front this is the back where it's going to be connected so here's our hinge work gonna put some flowers on here and then we've just got some nice smooth bits over and that's it the back's not terribly nice to look at but it's okay this is the, obviously the viewable side right we're up to bag number three we have done the hidden little doll's house inside the flower pot now we've got the beautiful botanical style flowers for the top and first up we get to basically just litter the top of this dirt of the dirt area it's like a miniature garden but so Isabella is like a miniature she's a she's a borrower and she is um, if you've read the borrowers uh, and she is living amongst all of these flowers I just love it because it's not really the sort of like it's not really the sort of thing you'd have in a flower pot it's like a whole garden so we've got lots and lots of flower like little teeny tiny bits of flowers hanging over the edge just to, yeah, just to make sure it doesn't just look like empty dirt on the top of the flower pot. I love this. It's fantastical. I love some fantastical. Got some nice built up bits of dirt because we're going to be putting some substantial flowers into here as well. But I love it. I even just love it so far. All those little built up flower bits are so pretty. Okay, next up she gets a couple of feature orchids, which I don't know were a part of her... I don't know, no, orcas go very nicely, I think, with, oh, that's a purple poop. It's a lavender poop. I love that. The, uh, that little swirly, swirly thing, which we use for poop and ice cream, which is just like a juxtaposition that is concerning, is now in, now in lavender. I love it. Okay, so we've got this, I've forgotten what I was saying. I got distracted by the poop. Oh, so yeah, these are the, these are orchids, uh, like the botanicals orchids, going together in the same sort of configuration as those, which is nice. I mean, why reinvent the wheel? When, when the orchids that were created for that all work so well so nicely anyway we're just utilizing it in a completely different build same color scheme for the stems so this is going to be another stem you need nice substantial and um, uh, stabilized stems for these orchids so I love the fact that we put our little black bit through here to make sure that they stay nice and stabilize the stake yeah so that's for actually stabilizing the flower spike uh, because the flower spikes can get really really heavy with the flowers on them and they're, they're quite substantial but yeah also if you walk past them catch your cardi sleeve on them then you rip off the flower spike you get a bit sad because <laughs> Your orchid flower's gone. Anyway, right, distracted. Let's let's build our actual flowers and then keep them away from Makati. We've got a little white frog as the middle. We've got these little bits as the kind of the tongue bits on either side. Shoulder pads are the lilac ones. So it's a different color scheme to the uh, to the orchids from the botanicals orchids. But uh, those purple shoulder pads, I think, were in the succulent sets as big flowers. 
Lavender Shields, I love this. <laughs> love the utilization of interesting parts. It's so cool. So these go on here. There we go. So we've got two beautiful flowers and they go up here and they just get popped on the outward bit of the little Technic pin that's attached in there in the stem. And you can move them around if you want to. You can move the purple poops and swap them around because they're little buds. You can swap them around with the actual flowers. Bag number four, right. There are more flowers in here though, just, just a nice eclectic mix. So this is, actually I'm unsure whether this is a flower and if it is a flower, I'm not sure what it is. It might be a daisy, but it looks like a pinwheel. So uh, I just love the fact that it's kind of, kind of a bit of a, fantasy crazy gardens <laughs> I just love it it's so very very pretty so we've got our nice light yellow pinwheel and of course of course we need something unexpected not just is the stuff inside the flower pot unexpected but we need the thing that's unexpected that we're also expecting these days now because we've seen the movie and we know what it is so it's not quite so unexpected so this is the cactus so building a cactus is always fun in Lego we need one of these. I got a little spiky bit at the top and then we multiply it, multiply it by many. And then we pop them all the way around on these bits that are angled to create a, to create a ball. So cool. So many fun ways to use outward facing studs. Got our cactusy bit on the top with a red flower. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So this now gets installed up here at the front of our flower pot. <laughs> How lovely is that? But we're not done yet. So over on this side, which is looking sadly empty, we're going to put some stems on and then into these little green stems. Oh, this one, this one gets an extra little bit of a flower and it gets a butterfly because a butterfly, obviously the butterfly emblem is very important to the whole, the whole Encanto story. So it's so cool that we've got one just, just tucked in there on the flowers. Okay, speaking of flowers, we've got three empty stems at the moment. So we're making three flowers in most beautiful shades. I cannot believe that I have been Stockholm syndromed into loving this vibrant coral. It goes beautifully with red, it goes beautifully with pink. I just can't believe it, it's so pretty. So we have three of these gorgeous little flowers. I don't know what they might be. Uh, if you know what they're actually supposed to be, let me know in the comments, uh, but as far as I'm concerned they're just really pretty and I like the fact that we've got an angled one as well as a couple that are going upwards so this is the whole flower pot there is something here for everybody if you like to play or hide your little uh like I do or hide your characters away I just adore that we can tuck them away like tuck Isabella away inside and then the outside is this gorgeous display piece which you can pop on your sideboard and pop out on your desk and people who aren't in the know they're not going to that hidden inside is also a little playset. I love that. I love the something unexpected hidden inside. It's just such a fun little concept. All right, let me know your thoughts on this set. I, I really think that if you are a collector of the botanicals theme, you're going to want this one. And also, it's just something a little bit different. And I love things that are a little bit different. Okay, subscribe, leave a comment, click the little like button, notifications, all of the stuff and check back in because, oh, you wait till you see Mirabelle's. She's got a capybara. I cannot wait. Okay, I'll see you again with another video soon. <laughs> Bye.